Hello. I'm going to go through a short tutorial on how you can upload your Twine game to itch.io. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. And you need two things for this tutorial. Uh, and that would be a Twine story, uh, usually exported as an HTML file, and an itch.io account. Okay, so in Twine, uh, I'm going to click Use It Online. Uh, and if you already have your story, that's great. I'm going to use this as an example, the slums of Jolly England. When we open up our story, um, of course, we play tested this and made sure that it worked. We click this menu down here. Then we click uh, publish to file. Okay, so in the bottom left, we are clicking on this, the name of your story and then publish to file. And that's going to pop out an HTML file. Okay, and we can see if you're using Chrome or a similar browser, uh, it shows you where, where it went. Mine goes into my downloads folder. Okay, so what I can do now is I can open this up in any browser and play my game. And this is a really easy way to send it to people, but if you also wanted to, to reach a larger audience instead of just people you know, you can upload this HTML to itch.io. So first thing you're gonna do is register if you don't have an account. It's free. Itch is an alternative to Steam and uh, doesn't charge as much or any of a publishing fee. Um, but I'm just gonna log in. Okay. So I logged in. And then we click the drop down and you click upload new project. Okay. So drop down, upload new project right here. Okay, upload new project. And that's gonna bring up to the new project dashboard. Um, all of this stuff is, not all of it, but much of it is optional. You obviously, uh, and it's also pretty self-explanatory. So the title of your game, the description, what type of game, pricing, all up to you. The important part is to upload files here. And you can see that you need, when you click upload files, you can upload an HTML. And uh, it's yelling at me for not having a title. Best story. Okay. And then upload files, HTML, and you can actually set this as um, an executable or a book or you know whatever you, you think it is. Um, and you also can set this to be playable in the browser. All right. So here in the downloadable kind of project, you want to do HTML. You have a zip or HTML file that would be played in the browser. Okay, and when you set that, this new checkbox will be here. This file will be played in browser. The embed options are pretty important actually. Um, and this will choose how big your story looks on the screen. Uh, it's probably mobile friendly. I would have it start automatically. Full screen and, and, and scroll bars are usually helpful. Okay, genres, tags, all that stuff is whatever. And now here's the trickiest part, probably, of publishing on itch. It's that your page is not automatically public. Okay, the first time you have to save and view it. And then you can edit it, you can do whatever you want, but then you have to click draft. Okay, and when you click draft, it brings you back to that page. And you can then enable it as being public. So I go to draft public, save. Okay, and I'm, I'm not actually going to save mine because I don't want this to be public, but that's how you would do it. So there it is, a couple minute tutorial on uploading a Twine game to itch.io. All right, keep making games. Good luck, have fun.